Pulmonary hypertension is elevated pressure in the pulmonary artery. And what happens is if that's not treated, your heart has to work harder against that pressure and it can lead to, to heart failure and death. Normally if you have pulmonary hypertension, one of the uh, things they can do is give you a right heart catheterization. That's where they stick a catheter up in one of your veins into your right heart and measure pressure that way. MRI is totally non-invasive and uh, we can do it non-invasively to, uh, to, to get a measure of stiffness. So this was an idea we came up, you know, probably you know, nine or 10 years ago. There's a cardiologist that I, I collaborate with at UAB, Himanshu Gupta. And uh, we talk a lot about ideas and things like that. And so we, we just came up with this idea once that, uh, you know, with phase contrast, we can measure blood flow through the pulmonary artery. And if we could, you know, measure how it changed through a, a section of pulmonary artery, that could be related to stiffness. And we could do that with this transfer function thing, which is a standard concept in electrical engineering. We use MRI to sort of uh, image slices of the pulmonary artery. With MRI, you can image blood flow through those slices, and we can see how the blood flow pattern changes as it goes from one slice to the next. And that has bearing on how stiff the pulmonary artery is, and so that's what this technique uh, detects. Hopefully, uh, they'll use MRI to uh, do this non-invasive procedure in at least some of these patients and reduce the number of right heart catheterizations uh, moving forward. <laughs>